Welcome to Wildjar Call Attribution and Intelligence. My name is James and I'm Head of Product at Wildjar. And this demo will give you a quick overview of the features of Wildjar and the dashboard. First of all, when you log in, you'll see your main dashboard, which is where you will live for most of your journey here. Uh, you see your total calls into the business, how many of those calls are new callers, uh, how many missed calls, and your average duration. Uh, you'll be able to see all of these stats by the number as well, so which number are driving the most amount of calls into your business. For example, here demo organic, uh, your Facebook ads, how many total calls, new callers, as well as all the individual stats around there. Uh, everything on the dashboard is actually um, clickable, so you can start clicking through to the individual numbers. You can filter your date ranges by the last seven days as well as set your filter date ranges and ranges for your types of numbers, whether that be a sales number or service number. You also have the ability to schedule email alerts, uh, such as a weekly, daily, or monthly call logs, uh, and actually see in your inbox every day or weekly how many calls your businesses have been receiving. On the left-hand side, you have all of the reports that you can navigate through and find out more information on your inbound callers as well as your settings feature, which is around your phone numbers and where those tracking numbers are actually being placed. And at the top right of the screen, you have your My Jar area, which is essentially your personal preferences, uh, your account structures, so whether you have access to different accounts, uh, whether that's different brands or different locations, and your user structure, where you can create new users, change and set rules based on different access levels as well. So let's run through the reports. So on the left hand side you have your acquisition reports. So essentially where your calls are coming from. Uh, the first one is attribution. So you can see that out of all your calls, this is where the majority of your inbound calls are coming from. And this is where you can assign unique numbers on different advertising channels. Uh, we can create dynamic numbers to collect session information. So then we can also pass keyword information, uh, the source of the call, whether it be Google, CPC, as well as all of your online information such as your landing pages, your conversion pages. Then we move to location report. Uh, so you can see at a quick snapshot geographically where your callers are coming from. And this is the behavior report. So this report gives you a quick overview of your callers, your inbound callers coming in by the time, so calls by hour of the day as well as day of the week. So you can quickly see which day is driving, as in this case it's demo data, but you can see which days are driving the most amount of phone calls into your business. Uh, if we change it to last month, you can see a different snapshot and see, okay, well, during the hours of 11 to 12, the majority of my callers are calling, as well as on Tuesday. So you can start writing and, and working with your business intelligence tools internally to make sure that you have the correct staff to answer those phone calls effectively and route them to the correct people at the right time. The call duration report is a, another very powerful report. Uh, we do focus on missed calls a lot. So when you miss a phone call, we send you email alerts and SMS alerts. However, with uh, the call duration report, you can actually drill down to see these calls say less than 60 seconds or 30 to 60 seconds which is a very high percentage in this in this example. What's happening to these callers exactly? Are they sitting on hold? Are they going to the service department when they should be going to sales or vice versa? Or are they not actually being answered by the correct salesperson? And you can drill down into all of these as well. And then we have missed calls. And this is where we do focus on those missed calls. Um, and if I do uh, last month, for example, you can see by the hour, by the day, uh, by the day of the week, and a total as well to see out of all of my different examples, when am I missing the most amount of calls and what can I do to stop that or help that process and make sure that my calls are answered effectively and I'm not wasting these leads. Then we move to the call log and this is essentially the, the main group of data. So every time a call comes in, in real time, uh, the call will be displayed in the call log here and you'll receive all your information such as your date, the time of the call, where the call came from, their calling number, their location if it is available, 
as well as the type of call it is. So we can go through and you can, in the information, you can listen to the call recording, you can, um, you can rate the call, and with our call intelligence and call insight product, we can actually automatically score the call as well based on different types of keywords that are spoken or phrases on the call, as well as emotion and sentiment as well. And then we get to settings. And settings is really where you can view which numbers you have out in market for tracking purposes. You can, uh, if you have the access levels, you can actually change the answer points or where the call is routing to, change the name of the number if you decide to use it for different advertising sources, and also select which category it is for reporting purposes. You also have the ability to request a new tracking number in real time. So if you did have a press ad or a local ad that needed to be uh, issued a new tracking number, you can actually order a number in real time and set that up. For more information on Wildjar or any other the types of reports, uh, please visit support.wildjar.com or please give us a call and we'll be happy to run you through a live demo of